you can see a couple of kerf cuts here. I made these uh, in my last video. <clears throat> As I recall, the um, it was virtually impossible to see what I was doing. So this is the impact, the outcome, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I did my best to get to fill these channels up with glue. And when I came back to them uh, when they were dry, looks like there were lots and lots of bubbles trapped at the bottom. So those thankfully released. Most of the glue has then fallen to the bottom, which means I have to go over this again. Um, not such a big deal, but let's uh, take a quick peek. I think it was this way. So you'll, I'll see if I can dig out the old footage for a comparison. This is much, much better than it used to be. I kind of show it like that. So there's still a tiny bend, but I, I can deal with that. That's not a problem. Um, it's straight enough for the um, edge banding to go on. So in a few minutes, I'll fill this up and then uh, again, leave it set. This time I might actually clamp it to something because although it's much, much better, it's not perfect. So maybe we can, maybe we can get it perfect. Okay, the glue is in, the clamps are on. I suspect that yet again, the glue will collapse into the kerf before it dries. So this may not be the last video in the series, but uh, anyway, there we go. Good night.